Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up the GoFlight MCP Pro to use with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. As you probably know, the MCP is a Boeing instrument, but it works fine in Flight Simulator 2020. In this case I'm using it with the Airbus A32NX from Fly-by-Wire. You just saw me briefly set the altitude. Now I'm trying to set the speed, but, but as you can see, we are in manage mode. So my changes in the MCP don't take effect until I change from manage mode to select mode. Now I can change the speed. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to head over to the Go Flight site and download the software, the latest software for the MCP Pro. Once you downloaded it, go ahead and install it. The next step is to go over to the folder where you install the software, usually it's in your C drive under program files. And then here we will run the GoFly config application to configure the MCP Pro. Once it opens, we make sure to select the Fly CMX and the MCP Pro, as you can see the picture, and then it must be set to FS default for it to work. Next, we load the simulator, we load our flight, and once we've set up the flight, as you can see the MCP Pro is not running yet because I haven't started the software for it. I'm going to do that next. We will navigate again to the folder where we installed the GoFlight software and here we will look for the file gfdevfsx.exe and as you can see as I double click it the MCP comes alive. As you can see in the video I have an FS from GoFlight also but unfortunately it doesn't work with the Airbus. Most buttons and knobs on the MCP work on the FCU, the flight control unit. Here you can see me changing the altitude on the MCP and it reflects the changes in the FCU. Here when I flick the flight director switch you can see it turn on and off or off and on rather. Now you can see that speed and heading are in manage mode so nothing is displayed but the MCP displays numbers that I can turn but nothing happens since we're in manage mode and the flight computer is controlling that. Now if I need to change that, change the speed or the altitude, what I need to do is put it in select mode and now as you can see when I turn the knob on the MCP the FCU shows uh, the changes in the speed. It works the same way with the heading. The heading right now shows zeros and I can change it but nothing happens because it is in manage mode. So the, mom the moment I change it to select mode, now I can change the heading using the knob on the MCP and the aircraft will turn. Here I take the altitude out of manage mode and I set it to 3000 and as soon as I begin to dial it down you can see that the aircraft begins to descend. Here I'm going to dial it to 3000. Next I will demonstrate a heading change. Again the first thing I will do is take the heading out of manage mode and put it in select mode. Now I can change the heading and as you can see the heading bug is moving as I turn the knob. Also the FCU 
reflects my changes and the aircraft begins to turn. It is similar with the speed. First we take it out of manage mode and now we can turn the dial to the desired speed that we want to set it to. In my case I'm going to set it to 230 and as you can see the MC the FCU rather um, reflects the change that I made and the aircraft begins to slow down. Many times when I try to set the altitude or the speed or the heading using the mouse I end up zooming in or out. Being able to use uh, the MCP as a flight control unit makes it very nice. I'm on final at LAX. Thank you for watching.